Okay, so let's see if you can solve this simple percent problem. All right, so the actual question is the following. 34 is what percent of 21? All right, so feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second, then I'm gonna show you different ways to solve this problem. Also, I'm going to review uh, the definition of percent so you really understand this and you absolutely need to really understand percent because percent is everywhere in math and in our everyday living. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer again. 34 is what percent of 21? Well, the correct answer is the following 161.9%. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely got a happy face and an A+. Plus. And by the way, uh, however you solved this, as long as you understand what you did, that's what counts. Because again, I'm going to show you different ways to solve this problem. But uh, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even know one way to solve this problem. Well, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into things right now. Let's just define percent. Okay, so 34 is what percent? Well, what is percent? Well, the definition of percent, uh, the kind of technical definition, is a ratio of, of a, it's basically a ratio of a number compared to 100, or a fraction such that the denominator is 100. So when we compare a number to 100, for example, if I compare 70 to 100, or write the fraction 70 over 100, this 70, if the denominator is 100, is the percent. So 70 over 100 is equivalent to 70%. But another good uh, way to think of uh, percent is some sort of part out of a whole, okay? So if, um, if you got 70 out of uh, 100 on a test, right, you got part of the points on a test that was worth 100, okay? So the whole test was worth 100 points, but you got part of the points, you got 70. So you got 70 out of 100. So again, you got 70%. So this is a good model as well to think of percent. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to solve this problem. We're gonna keep both of these in mind. And I'm actually gonna uh, show you another kind of way uh, that we can use some algebra to solve this problem as well. Again, uh, not one different path to get the solution here. But let's go ahead and take a look at how to solve the problem this way. All right, so 34 is what percent of 21? So I'm going to kind of think of this as the part out of the whole type thing, right? Now, but this could be kind of confusing for a lot of people. So what is the part? Well, if I said uh, 70, let's write this problem. 70 is what, uh, what percent of 100, okay? 70 is what percent of 100, that question. What is the part? Well, it's clear that 70 is the part and 100 is the whole. But in this uh, case, it looks like the part is larger than the whole. You know, can we have a situation like that? Absolutely. Okay, Don't, this could be confusing. But again, 34 in this case is the part. Okay, 34 is what percent of 21? Well, it's going to be we're going to treat that 34 as the part. So again, this can be kind of confusing. So it's going to be 34 uh, over uh, 21. So 21 here is the whole. So we would kind of use this example. 70 is what percent of 100? We would write the fraction 70 over 100. In this case, we're writing the fraction 34 over 21. All right? And when we do that, 34 divided by 21 using our calculator, we're going to get the decimal 1.619, of course, there's other decimals here, but we'll just kind of uh, uh, leave it like this, 1.619. So now we have to uh, learn how to write a decimal as a percent. So how do we do that? Well, you effectively multiply the decimal by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the right. So when I take that 1.619, that's my decimal, and I move that decimal point over two places to the right, I'm going to get 161.9. Again, that's effectively the same thing as multiplying by 100. And there is the answer. Okay, so that's one approach you could take to solve this problem. And this particular problem, again, is a little bit confusing because we're dealing with a percentage that's larger, larger than 100. Okay, so here, 70 out of 100 is 70%. Here, 
34 is 161.9 percent out of uh, 21. Okay, or of 21. So 34 is 161.9 percent of 21. Again, percents greater than 100 uh, tend to confuse people. But anyways, hopefully. Uh, this uh, solution is understandable, but let's take a look at another way we could solve this problem. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so uh, one thing you could do is set up a proportion. Now, a proportion in uh, mathematics is two equal fractions. So, for example, if I have a fraction one-half, uh, let's think of another fraction that's the same as one-half. Let's say five over 10. This fraction is equal to this fraction. We have two equal fractions. And if that's the case, when you have two equal fractions, you can cross multiply. The cross product is equal. So 1 times 10 is 10, and 2 times 5 is 10. 10 is equal to 10. So when you have a proportion, you want to use the cross product to solve them, right? So we could set up a proportion uh, this way. So we know by definition percent is some uh, number, like for example, 70 over 100. It's some fraction where the numerator is the percent, okay? So I'm looking for the percent, so I'm looking for this top number. So I'm looking for X percent, all right? But I know the denominator is 100, all right? So if this was 70, this thing right here would be 70%. So you can set up a uh, proportion this way. So this would be one fraction, and then over here would be the part out of the whole. So this is a nice little formula to solve percent problems as well. Okay, so what is the part out of the whole? Well, again, that part is 34. The whole is 21. I'm looking for that percent X right there. Okay, this is the percent if I can solve for it. And then my denominator is 100, all right? So this is what we call like the um, uh, proportion uh, method to solve percent problems. So here, let's go ahead and just use the cross product. So 21 times X is 21X. 34 times 100 is 3,400. Now to solve for X and is simply uh, divide both sides of the equation by 21. So 3,400 divided by 21. Uh, we do that in our calculator. We get 161.9%. We don't have to uh, uh, change anything because we just solved for this number right here, X. Okay, this is the actual percent. So when you're using... Uh, proportions to solve percent problems, you got to be very careful that you don't take your answer and then like, you know, uh, move the decimal point again, because that is in fact the actual percentage. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.